Well, today we're going to talk about you, Miss Brenda. Um, so I'm Gianni. I usually am just the producer and I'm usually just behind the scenes, but Tracy couldn't be here this morning, um, but that's okay. That's okay. Me and you are going to have some fun. Okay. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, I was originally born in Salzburg, Austria. Oh, wow. Um, my father was in the army. Okay. And then, you know, my mother was over there with him. So, okay. Um, so I always thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, then we moved back here because this is where my mother was from Baltimore. So um, <clears throat> we've moved back to Baltimore. And um, and then that's where I lived. Went to school, you know, high school. Baltimore? Mm-hmm. Okay. How long have you been in Georgia? Uh, when did we move here? My husband was transferred with his job mm-hmm. to Georgia. Okay. So we moved here. I've been here a few years. I can't remember exactly when we moved here. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so mm-hmm. I've been in Georgia... For about 20 years. Okay. Um, my mom unwillingly moved us here in 2004 um, just because it was a better area. I'm from Texas. Okay. You ever been to Texas? No. Okay. You're not really missing much, but. <laughs> no. I think maybe we've driven through it before. Yeah. But that's about it. Okay. Yeah. Um, there I am. I keep messing with myself. You sound <laughs> great. And then. There I am. Yeah. Do you have any children? I do. Okay. I have... The girls tend to run in our family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I have one. Let me count them. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Take your time. Okay. You see. Three girls. Three girls. Yeah. Okay. I thought it might have been more than that. <laughs> wow. Anyway. That's that's a lot of estrogen <laughs> in one house growing up. How was that? Um, you know, they bickered and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I probably yeah. I wonder how that was for your husband, because that's a lot. Well he worked. <laughs> ah, see, smart man. <laughs> So, so he worked. But it was good. Okay. Yeah. They got along pretty well. They got along. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Do you have any grandchildren? I do. Okay. All right. Let me count them next. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I have three. Three daughters and three granddaughters. They're all girls. All girls. Yes. No boys. <laughs> the husbands are a little disappointed, but you know. Okay. It is what it is. It is Must be what in the it genes, is. huh? Yes. <laughs> That's okay. So he's like a true girl dad and girl granddad. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, so what did you do? Did you, were you a stay at home mom or did you work or what did you what did you do? I worked. Okay. Um, I mean I stayed home when they were babies. Okay. Um but then, you know, my husband he had, you know, a lot of times he would watch him because he would work night work a lot of times. Okay. So that worked out pretty well. Okay. Um, so that, that's how we worked that one out. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. It was a good, it was a good <clears throat> yeah. balance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, you know, and they got to spend a lot of time with their parents. Yeah. What a healthy balance. Yeah. Um, that's tough nowadays, but mm-hmm. that was a good, healthy balance. Okay. So talk to us about, you said you lived in Baltimore. Where did you grew up in Austria? Like childhood? No. Was in, no. Uh, my father. Was stationed over there. He was in the army. Okay. So he was stationed over there. Okay. So um, my mother went with him too. Okay. She was pregnant with me. Okay. So I was born over there. Okay. Um, so I don't remember it. Yeah. I see pictures. Course. Right. You know, so I go through my pictures all the time. Yeah. And, um, you know, and then when he, you know, when he was done with his time over there, um, they came back. Baltimore. Okay. And she was from Baltimore and he's from Michigan. Oh, Michigan. So, um, okay. anyway, so they found a house to buy and, yeah. you know, and that's where I grew up. You were in Baltimore. So, do you remember <clears throat> um, what was your childhood like in Baltimore? It was fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was, we lived in row homes. Okay. And a lot of kids in the neighborhood. Okay. okay. What's a row home? Um, they're attached to each other. So, oh. it was brick row homes. Okay. You know, there might have been 
I'm to one, two, three, four, maybe five or six in one row. Okay. okay. And then down the street, they were, there would be space, you know, some land, and then they would build some more. Yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah. But there was a lot of kids in the neighborhood. It was fun. Okay. And we so, had an alley in the back. And oh. so we, you know, would play kickball and stuff like that back there. and Lots of things so, to do. Yeah, it oh. was. Okay. So did you find yourself outside all the time? <clears throat> a lot. Yes. Okay. I never went outside. Oh. Um. <laughs> You want to hear a funny story? Go ahead. <laughs> um, so I have a little brother. Um, my dad has some older children um, from his previous marriage. So there's like a 15-year gap between me um, and my sister. But my younger brother always was outside. Like mm-hmm. if, if there was sunlight, he mm-hmm. was outside. For me, I was always inside. Um, I don't like to sweat. I don't like... <laughs> I just don't. The one time, which was so rare that I went outside, my little brother got an electric scooter for Christmas. And I was riding it outside in our long driveway, and I fell and I dislocated my elbow. Oh, no. Um, so, even more reason why I stayed in. <laughs> I never went outside. I don't know why. I just... Well, maybe Even after now. that, you're afraid to hurt yeah. yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> but I've had, I have an eight-year-old son uh-huh. that has a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. Um, and so now I have to go outside with him. <laughs> um, it's funny how God works. but um, well, well, you don't have to ride any little bikes or anything like that. I don't. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't. Um, yeah, no. A bike is like, a, a regular bike is like my limit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yes, uh, my mom was, when it happened, or now, like, when we talk about it, my mom's like, you never went outside. And the one time you go outside, <laughs> you, you like, I had to have surgery and everything. Oh I mean, it was, it was bad. Oh. So, um, so yeah, that was my childhood. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you said you've been here for a few years. So, I'm a big music person. Are mm-hmm. you a big music person? I like music. Okay. What's, Nate, give me one of your favorite songs. I love the Beatles. Okay. So, um, yesterday. Okay. Um, what other songs? I mean, I could listen to Beatles all day. Okay. They've got a lot of music mm-hmm. to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay. They're, they're my favorite ones. What is it about the Beatles? Uh, I don't know. They just have good harmony together. Mm-hmm. And I like the music they play. Are there any artists now that you like that you listen to? I don't really listen to the radio much anymore. Okay. Once in a while, I'll turn it on in my apartment. Okay. Um, just to see what's out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just try to keep up with things. You know? Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm sure even if you've never listened to her music, you've heard her music. You've heard of Beyonce. Oh, Yeah. You know she has a new country song out. No, have you heard it? No. Okay, we'll listen to it after this. I want to hear. I want to hear your thoughts on it. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Perfect. I love this. You're so fun to talk to. Oh well, thank you. (laughs) I want to like. I want to learn more about you. Um. Cool. So we talked about your childhood in Baltimore, and um, so did you live in Baltimore all the way up until you moved to Georgia, or did you yes. live anywhere else? No, okay, just Baltimore. Okay. Um, so, grade school, high school, all of that. Give me a, a if you can think of something like everyone has that one, maybe that one memory they made in high school. Okay. So when I lived there. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to a, a Catholic school, mm-hmm. um, elementary school, Okay, you know, and it was part of the church that we went to. Yeah. And then, um, so then I wound up going to a Catholic high school, which was Institute of Notre Dame. Okay. And, um, and then I used to have to take the bus to get down there and it was mm. in the city. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was not fun, you know, riding <laughs> there and riding back. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I used to have this one nun who a lot of times would fall asleep in the class. She was really old. She had no business being there. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it was just like, okay, you know, when everybody, everybody would just start talking. You know? And she slept through it all. And then yeah. she'd wake up and she, you know, and just like at her desk and just go, uh, uh, next. <laughs> 
She could not do that now. Oh, no, no. She oh, no. would be like outside she, she of the school. She was very old. <laughs> very old. Bless her heart. <laughs> well, she's not around anymore, I'm sure. <laughs> she fell asleep in the class. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. Yes. Yeah, I think she even snored a little bit. <laughs> She was so old, a poor thing. <laughs> we didn't learn much in her class. <laughs> the art of the art of rest. <laughs> but I do well in that I, that high school. So, <laughs> what was your what was your favorite subject? My favorite subject in high school, just in general. Oh, in general, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Well, one of my, I didn't really care for, we took Latin in high, in mm-hmm. Catholic school. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really care for that. Okay. Okay, so my favorite. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I like math. Mm. I always did like math. Yeah, numbers. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, you know, and then I, when I became an adult, I worked for a bank. Okay. So, so that came in handy. Yeah. Yeah, so. And I still like math. Really? Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> What is it? Is it the, is it just the numbers mm-hmm. of it, or mm-hmm. what? What? I'm not just thinking like, okay, do I remember this stuff? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting older, so yeah. Um, but I'm still doing okay with it. There you go. You have. I mean, you have to know math. It, yeah, it's how you count your money, <laughs> <laughs> which is very important. Yeah, you got to um, make sure you know your the bank account's okay. And, right. Yeah. Right. So what what did you do after high school? So where did I where did I work out after that? Oh, you're taking me way back. <laughs> <laughs> after high school, yeah, I got out of there. And I think I wound up, you know, just looking for a job. Mm-hmm. I think I wound up working for a stockbroker. Oh company. wow! Yeah, Lake Mason, I think it was. Okay. It's been so long. That sounds like a very <clears throat> pristine job for a fresh high schooler. Hmm. I had really good grades. Really? I did. I did not in high school. <laughs> I I did not apply mm-hmm. myself, which is what my mom... I, I didn't study for anything until mm-hmm. I got to college. Mm-hmm. So if I probably actually studied, mm-hmm. I may have been decent. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting. I always admire people. They're like, I had really good grades. I'm like, mm-hmm. how? <laughs> How interesting. And I always liked math, so mm-hmm. I always liked numbers. Yeah. So that, I was always good in that one. Okay. Um, you know, it just had to, I think that the subject had an interest to me, mm-hmm. for me to do well in it. Yeah. And I think for sure, so like, we homeschool my eight-year-old. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been in public school and private mm-hmm. school. Um, and I think teachers have it really hard um, like even like I graduated in 2008 mm-hmm. from high school and even from then to now, teachers have it so hard because eight year olds are like, like my eight year old is teaching me things about technology. Mm. So I can't imagine what like how teachers are able to kind of uh, address that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it's just very interesting. Like, I don't know what's going to happen in the next five, 10 years, um, but that's that's pretty fascinating. So if you look through like how the world is today mm-hmm. compared to when you were growing up, mm-hmm. what are the things that you feel are so vastly different? If you can name just a few, because I'm sure there's... <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Yeah. Like if you think, okay, if we, let me narrow it down. If we think through how children are raised or how children, like you said, you played outside all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's necessarily safe to like, let my kid just go outside and play for eight hours. Well, we all have fences around our yards. Mm, Okay. Okay. So it kept them in. Okay. So. um, Yeah. Yeah. Now. I know. I know. (laughs) Because after I had my kids, I was, yeah. Yeah, Just it's like really careful. It's interesting, and it's like I wonder what happened in the world for that to change so much. Yeah, some bad stuff happened, or I don't know. They just couldn't keep control of people. Who knows? I don't know. You know, and you hear that 
you know, sometimes you were afraid to take a walk. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and in row homes, I mean, it was a gigantic neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You know, all these streets, you can go up to do it and everything. And, yeah. Um, and, it, you know, it is kind of scary when I look think back on that. Yeah. You know, anybody could have come out and grabbed you. and That's true. Mm-hmm. But I think there was probably more of, like, community in where you stayed. So every— Well, that's true, because there's a lot of kids, too. Yeah, and, like, your parents knew the neighbors mm-hmm. and— I think oh, everybody kept yeah. The, yeah, and if they saw something wrong, they would have done something. I don't think it's like that anymore. Yeah. I think I don't people, think people are, spend enough time outside. Yeah. Well, you know? I surely don't. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You're, I think that's what it is. And I think we don't even know who we live next to anymore. Mm. Hmm. I always knew who I lived next to. Yeah. I usually became friends with them. Yeah. That's the best way to get to know them. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Mm-hmm. So, so what was it like raising your girls? <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Do they all I have similar personalities or No. They're all different. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. So I my the oldest one, she was always kind of looked out for the kids. Mama the, Hen. Yes. Okay. Okay. So if they were doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. She was that kind of person. So, you know, she would say, No, you can't do that or yeah. something. Okay. Okay. My second one, she was a free spirit. Mm. Um, so you never knew what was going to happen with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she did. Her, she still does her own thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How old is she now? I think she's like forty or something. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but she she could get into trouble sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or, or do something she wasn't supposed to do. Yeah. Or you know, go somewhere and not tell us where she was going and stuff like that. Okay. And then the youngest one, she was the baby. Um, she was, she was pretty easy. Okay. Yeah. And then her older sister was always like the little mother, mm. the mother sister. Mm-hmm. So she always kept an eye on the youngest ones. Yeah. So. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the oldest was, was like their second mom. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's the same. And dynamic. even now she's kind of like my mom. <laughs> Do you listen to her? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes she'll give me advice. Now you should do this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> that's how me and that's how me and my sister are. So I have um, three older sisters. I'm uh-huh. close to, uh, I'm the youngest girl, and I'm close to, really close to one. Mm-hmm. She's 15 years older than me. Uh-huh. She's like your other mother. Exactly. And so... Um, it's interesting because her and my brother-in-law have been together since before I was born, mm-hmm. um, or maybe a little bit after I was born. I don't remember the exact timeline, but she says she remembers um, she was my second mother. Like I used to go on dates with them. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, first of all, that's weird. But <laughs> well, maybe they were. You know, she was supposed to be babysitting you or something. No, no. Okay, it's like he they- he would call <laughs> and say, "Hey, can I take Felicia out?" <laughs> To my parents, because uh-huh. that's what you did, uh-huh. and they would say, yeah, and she's like, okay, I got to go get, you know, Gianni ready. And it's like, <laughs> why are you trying to take your little sister with you on a date? So I totally understand what you mean when you say she was their second mom. It's mm-hmm. just interesting how that dynamic works out, like that motherly Yeah, and instinct. I think it's because the older, you know, she, she's there when the kids are born, the babies are born, mm-hmm. you know, and then um, and she would watch everything, how mm-hmm. you change diapers and stuff like that. And, yeah. Um, you know, played with them and stuff, yeah. which is very nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Let's um, let's talk about your husband a little bit. Okay. Um, we met in high school. Oh wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And just started dating. And what was that like? Who approached who? Okay. <laughs> I want to know the T. <laughs> okay. Um I think he approached me. Mhm. And I think it was just cuz, you know, I think we had some classes together. Did you have a sleeping teacher together? A sleeping teacher. The teacher. Oh, the they, they say, oh yes, some of the old nuns. <laughs> oh, the one old nun she'd be up there and she'd wake up and he's like look around. <laughs> It's like, like, where is she? You know? <laughs> yeah, she's taking nap all the time. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's funny. 
But he didn't go to Catholic school, so I didn't meet him there. Oh, okay. He was okay. in high school where I met him. Okay. So he approached you. Mm-hmm. Were you interested in him? Um, I thought he was cute. Okay. And that was, and yeah. so, okay, so what was your first date? Oh, where did we go? I don't know. I think we went with friends. Hmm. Yeah, because he had a really good friend. Okay. So um, I think we double dated. Okay. And I think we just went to the movies. Mm-hmm. Maybe got something to eat afterwards. Okay. So, um, yeah, but he was he was a good guy. Okay. He was a very good guy. What was it about him that attracted you to him? His eyes. Mm-hmm. He had long eyelashes. Okay. I was so jealous of those eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it was just cute. Okay. So it was, it was. He had nice hair. Ni- okay. Mm-hmm. What kind of hair? What, it was I'm, dark. It was, dark? Yeah, it was black. Okay. Um, yeah, he's cute. Okay. Then when he got older, of course, he wasn't as cute as he was when he was younger. <laughs> but he was, it was good. He was handsome, I think. Yeah. 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 I loved okay. him, so. Okay. We had um, nice babies together, so. Yeah. What was his name? Keith. Keith. Okay. Is Keith here with you, or? No, is... he passed. Okay. Keith passed. Okay. Got it. Um. Well, he sounds like a really amazing guy. Um, that's pretty neat that y'all met. And how, how long were y'all married? We got married. Oh, God. Okay, let me think. We got married in 1970. I think we got married in 19, 1970. I think when we got out of high school, we got married. Okay. Wow. So y'all were, how how long has it been since Keith, Keith has passed? Uh, when did he die? It's it's been a long while. Okay, so y'all were, but y'all were still married for a while before. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And he was fun. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think is the thing that kept y'all married for so long? Uh, I think the children. Mm. Um, I don't know. And we just, you know, he would help me out. I'd help him out. Yeah. Yeah. So help me. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you said you enjoyed, have you ever seen the Beatles in concert? No. Have you ever been to a concert? Yes. What was your first concert? Or just a, <clears throat> your favorite concert? Let's go with that. Hmm. You know, the brain's getting old, so... Um. <laughs> Like I'm sitting here, like I'm asking you, you that question, and you're thinking I'm about thinking yourself. myself. Like, what is my concert again? <laughs> my husband loved music, okay, uh, and you know, like rock music and yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, see, he was always dragging me to concerts, mm-hmm. which was okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm trying to think who was the best one. There were so many of them. I can't even think. Okay. You remember any of the ones you went to? <clears throat> I was wondering. I mean, my favorite band at that time was the Beatles. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I'm thinking maybe we saw them once. Okay. So it had to be that one. What an incredible experience mm-hmm. to be able to see them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Cost a lot. But... I'm sure. <laughs> Love That's like a once in a lifetime type thing. That's almost like going to see Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always want. I mean, I can't see him now, but I would have liked to go to his uh-huh. concert. So, um, the Beatles. Okay, I like that. Um, what do you? What are some of your hobbies? I I took up sewing again. Really? Because I, you know, I used to sell a lot of my clothes when I was in high school. Okay. I didn't have any money. Yeah. Um, so then when the kids were born, I started sewing some of their clothes. Mm-hmm. And um, and even now, I, I like to make Halloween costumes. I love to make Halloween costumes. Really? Yes. Okay. I make some good ones. Do you? Oh, yeah. Now I'm curious. <laughs> okay. You want me to name a couple? Yeah. Okay. I had made... Um, okay, grapes. I was a bunch of grapes. A bunch of grapes. You yeah. sew, sewed a bunch I sewed of- like a dress. Uh-huh. Okay. It was just cheap, cheap material. Yeah. Purple. So I got purple material. 
So I sewed a dress. It was nothing fancy, just some, like a shift almost, mm-hmm. with long sleeves, and um, bought some purple tights. Mm-hmm. And um, I bought purple balloons. Mm-hmm. And um, what else was? And I bought something else that was purple. So the balloons, I pinned them to the costume. So I put the pins, you know, the regular pins, yeah. you know, and put them in, um, like inside the costume mm-hmm. and then put the, you know, the needle through the, after you blew up the balloons, oh. through there so it wouldn't burst the balloons, yeah. but it would hold the balloons to the dress. I see. Yeah. So the dress was down to my knees, the purple tights. Mm-hmm. I think I even bought purple shoes or purple slippers and, um, you know, just put some purple rouge, you know, yeah. on your cheeks and stuff. Um, yeah. Did you make it through the night without a balloon popping? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. And I actually went, off, I went to a Halloween contest. Really? One night. Yeah. <laughs> See, I love to do stuff like yeah. that. I like to get real original. <laughs> so. That is pretty fascinating. I probably would have popped all my balloons by the end of the night doing no. something. No. Yeah? Yeah. Because they were pinned from the inside on that's the part true. that's after you make the knot off that part that hangs out from the knot. Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Now. So the, the knot's on the outside. Yeah. But you go through that little piece of balloon. The little piece after you, you blow know, it up. You through the material it. and then that part of it. Okay. Yeah. It worked out great. What's I, another one? Gosh, so okay. grapes. Um, grapes. What else? Um, I think I made. <clears throat> I don't know, there was a Halloween contest going on, mm-hmm. and um, I think I made one of my girls. Um, I think I used purple balloons, mm-hmm. um, and they weren't real big. Mm-hmm. And then pinned it to their costume, which was like uh, maybe. I think I had one I called Ratatouille. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was like purple and Mm -hmm. different kind of colors in there. Yeah. So that would, you know, stand out. Yeah. Um, So very customized um, and creative costumes. I love that. Yeah, I tried to, yeah, I tried to be creative. I like that. Sometimes mine would go blank, but (laughs) I tried. (laughs) I like that. I like that. My my son has been (laughs) Spider-Man. Okay. For like the past three years. That's okay. So um, we'll see what he's going to be this year. Yeah. Um, but he loves to dress up. So mm-hmm. he usually wears his Halloween costume cool. year round. <laughs> <laughs> year round. Year round. Mm-hmm. Um, how long have you been here at the Arbors? Oh, when did I come? I think I, maybe I might have been here. I might be a year now. Okay. Okay, and do your do you have any family close by? Mm-mm, no, no. Okay, okay. Um, there's so much to do here, mm-hmm. and Tracy says that the Arbors is like a cruise ship on land because <laughs> there's so much stuff to do. It's yeah. like, dang, y'all have like a spa and a workout room. Mm-hmm. And do you do any of the activities that they have mm-hmm. um, here? What do you like to do? Um, I like to, I like to get into the pool. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like just swimming or aerobics yeah, or I don't swim real well, so yeah, just to get in, just get in. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know that Tracy's mother in law gets in the pool. I think her name's Judy. Mm-hmm. I don't know her last name. You've probably seen mm-hmm. her. Um, I don't remember Miss Judy's last name, mm-hmm. but I know she's pretty active in the pool mm-hmm. too. Um, okay. Well, this has been fun. <laughs> We're going to listen to that that Beyonce song in a second. She has a country song. You know she's from Texas, so Uh whatever that means. I'm from Texas, and I don't like country music. So, (laughs) But she's from Texas, and so she now has a country song. So we're going to listen to it in a minute. Okay. All right? Yeah. Well, perfect. Thank you so much for being on here. You were letting me ask you some questions, Mm -hmm. and I found out about you and your daughters (laughs) and... The nun that kept felt falling asleep. You know, it's funny. All my daughters had daughters. Yeah. <laughs> it's payback. Yeah. 
That is true. <laughs> Every one of them had a daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. That actually is pretty funny. So, and hey, now you know what I went through. Yeah. And I had three of them, you know. So. Do they ever call you and say, Mom, can you can, wait until I tell you what so-and-so did and you just laugh to yourself like, yep, you did that. Yes. <laughs> I'm, sure that's, oh, I'm sure that's hilarious. I want to close this out with... Um, Like, what is one thing that keeps you going? I mean, one thing that I... One thing that just keeps you going from day to day that... Like a word of encouragement or a uh, word of motivation or... I don't know. I think just thinking about my family. Yeah. My girls. Your girls keep you going? Yeah. Yeah. And they keep in touch and... I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And we get together and when we get together, we always have fun. We laugh a lot and... Yeah. What's y'all's? What's your favorite thing to do with them? Um, I just like to sit around and talk. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like we yes. all talk. <laughs> and then I have one daughter. She's just so funny. Yeah, you know, she's really got a sense of humor, and she always makes us laugh when we all get together. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you just think, just talk about old times. Yeah. And when we were, they were kids, and yeah, maybe I'll throw in when I was a kid. Yeah, I can still remember that. You yeah. Know, so. <laughs> Yes, I love that. Yeah, so um, yeah, just sitting around and talking, yeah. and they keep in touch with me. Yeah, all of them do. Good. So it's you know, you get to it's talk good. to them. Okay, yeah. and we see each other, not a lot because yeah. they're in different states. A couple of them are in different states. Okay, so um, you know, but we get together every now and then. Okay, yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love that. Okay. Yeah, well, miss, thank you so much. Oh, go. Oh, I, I miss them, you know. Yeah. Because they're all. Every, I have one still in Georgia, mm -hmm. and then um, and one's in Florida, mm -hmm. and the other one's in Alabama. Okay. <laughs> so they're, everywhere. they're in surrounding states. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're not real far, you know. But they're not right here. Yeah. yeah I get what you're saying. And that may be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be babysitting the babies, you know. That's true. <laughs> I have three babies of my own, so yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of worn out. Yeah. <laughs>